Well, hello to you and a happy new year. Hope you're having a great start to 2019. Recently, uh, all of us, we had a great Christmas. Very quiet, very peaceful, very calming. We celebrated Christmas with a few friends coming over for a roast on Christmas Day and a curry Christmas Eve, which was awesome. So lots of festivities, lots of food, lots of family, friends, drinking, wine, beer, homebrew, all that wonderful jazz. Christmas Day, I opened up a few bottles of my pumpkin wine that I made last Halloween. I was saving it for Halloween next year, well this year, 2019, but I thought it would go really well with the roast duck and roast beef I cooked for Christmas Day. And it went down exceptionally well. The flavour of the pumpkin wine really matched the duck. That fruitiness matched the fattiness of the duck and the beef was, oh, it worked really well. Anyway, it was also the first wine that my son helped me to make. It was your first home brew session, wasn't it, that we used? You can find the recipe for it up in the link above or the description below. And now we can give this a test and I'll tell you what I think of it. Oh yes. You ready? Let's do the honours. <laughs> Cheers. Happy New Year. First thing you get with the wine is the spices and the pumpkininess just coming through on the palate, on the nose. It's just very... Oh, morbid isn't the word. Yes. Adventurous. That's the word. First thing you get coming through on the nose is this adventurous sense of the pumpkin mixing with the spices. Very warming. Very gentle, but it is adventurous. It's kinky, nearly. If this was women's underwear, it would be a G-string. It would be. <laughs> a G-string. It does everything it needs to do with a bit of adventure. A bit of a ooh, cheatiness to it. And that G-string women's underwear follows through on the palate. It is sweet. That sounds so bad. It sounds like you know what women's underwear tastes like. Disclaimer. I don't go around tasting women's underwear. Only at Christmas. Anyway. The flavour comes through. It's sweet. It's adventurous. It's golden. It's It's... And it's exciting, yes, I can use the word exciting, which it is, it's very exciting this wine. I would definitely drink this again, lots of it again, for feasts and festivities, as we did over Christmas, and I think the next gallon that I have made, plus made two lots at Halloween, I am going to save for Halloween. Is this the one that you gave to people as presents? It is, yes. Over Christmas dinner. We were drinking this wine and all the guests commented on how good it was and how much they liked it. So much so they wanted to take a few bottles each home with them. Which of course they did and I'm sure they've enjoyed it by now. So it just goes to show that home brewed wine can be pulled off for dinner parties. Especially Christmas. And people like it. I like it. Visitors and guests like it. Anyway, if I was to make this wine again, there'd be one improvement I would make. I would brew up a five gallon batch instead of a two gallon batch. I would double the quantities and a bit more to make five gallons. And I would set some aside for Christmases and Halloweens and New Years and other events because it's so good, it's so Moorish. And never underestimate how many bottles you want to give away to people, especially at Christmas. So that's awesome. 
Anyway, we wish you a fantastic 2019. Happy New Year! And a Happy New Year. Anyway, I'll see you all again soon in the new year.